What's up guys, David here, one, two, and two, and it's how to beat it day. Ah yes, how to beat it day. The day where I still haven't figured out a better name for the series. <laughs> Amazing. And while learning to beat it today, we're gonna be looking at this deck. No Pirelli copy pastas in the comments down below. Pirelli, Purelli, Pur, Pur, I'm assuming it's Pirelli because it's like Pur like a cat, right? It's an evolution deck. Probably is an interesting XC deck that utilizes a smattering of quick play and continuous spells in order to XC summon, all the while sticking those quick play spells to the XC monsters as material. Not exactly a giant wombo combo deck, but if left unmolested, I gotta pick better word choice. Phrasing first, boo! You'll end up with a big X Pirelli Noir on board that's unaffected by everything. Spins cards back to the deck and will let you draw a bunch of cards during each standby phase. So if you don't wanna let that happen, we gotta learn how to beat it. <sighs> Phrasing, boom. I, I'm just gonna stick to it now. The best way to beat most decks is just to not let them get to their end board to begin with. So there'll be certain choke points where we can use choice negation and or some kind of interruption to stop them dead in their tracks. It's not like hitting the, the first link monster they put out and that stops their play line dead in its tracks. However, there is certain things you can hit that do mitigate their plays. First and foremost, probably Delicious Memory. This is a quick play spell card that bestows battle protection to one monster on the board. And if they do that, they can discard one card to special summon one Pirelli monster from their deck to the field. So it might be tempting to throw in Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring at this because, you know, uh, common sense would tell you that if a card says summon a monster from the deck, you do everything your power to stop that effect. Because most of the time, that's very strong. And while Ash Blossoming this card wouldn't be the worst choice in the world, especially if you didn't have very much interactions to begin with, trust the process. If you have some way of removing it from the board before it resolves, or banish it from the graveyard after it does, will prevent your opponent from being able to use it as material for one of their XC plays. A bunch of the XC monsters in their extra deck allow them to attach a quick play spell card that has currently been placed on the field to them as material. And by extension, because they can just slap the big one over the little ones, that material gets transferred to X Pirelli Noir, the big towers monster. And if you're specifically talking about X Pirelli Plump, you guys named it Plump, it can grab those materials out of the graveyard instead. So something like DD Crow to mitigate that, or MST to chain to the Pirelli's effect, that'd be cheeky, might also be a good solution instead of just simply Ash Blossoming this. Getting rid of this thing and removing it from the duel entirely, like banishing it with DD Crow, is probably more constructive and it'll actually help you a little bit out more down the road. Prelly Lee, which sounds like I'm uh, just stammering over the name of the card, is actually one of their level one monsters. <laughs> When this thing is summoned, it can add any Pirelli card except a quick play spell card from their deck to their hand. So again, a great target for Ash Blossom if you have to. As well as being able to target a quick play spell card in the graveyard and then performing a XE summon by card effect. It sticks this thing under the XE monster you summon as well as the quick play spell card in the graveyard. Again, if you could DD Crow that one in the graveyard, they wouldn't be able to do this. And last but not least, if you're trying to stop them from doing something, stop this. Stop it. My friend Pirelli. Sounds like a movie about a... Italian from New York. My friend Prelly, besides a comedy drama, is also a continuous spell card that allows them to reveal three cards from their deck that are Pirelli cards. And then you get to, uh, as an opponent, randomly select one, add that one to their hand, the other ones get shuffled back in their deck. It also lets them recur quick play spells from their graveyard if one of their XC monsters leaves the field via card effect. Um, but we don't care about that effect quite as much. It's a continuous and it is a once per turn, which means every turn they'll be able to add something. So, you know, you should probably try to get rid of this thing. As a continuous spell, our options to stop it are actually, you know, pretty wide here. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring can kick the can to next turn if you really must, but Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit can just completely outright stop and solve all of your problems. So do that one. Also, MST negates again. Uh, this is weird. Play MST? <laughs> It feels bad, man. Don't don't take that advice. But maybe? But let's just say you did all this and they still managed to get to X Pirelli Noir with five material plus. Oh, uh, what's the what's the end board looking like? Well, that X Pirelli is now immune to all card effects because it's got five plus material. It can spin several cards as a quick effect back to the deck. And depending how many of those five material are uh, Pirelli Sleepy Memory, one of their other quick play spells, they will draw a card during each standby phase. 
So if they have all three copies, they're gonna draw three during theirs and three during yours. That's six cards. On a tower's monster, you're probably having a hard time getting rid of. It'll live two turns. That feels bad. So not only will they have a big Bungus on board that's gonna be hard to get rid of, that uh, can also deal with the stuff on your board, they're gonna be drawing now their more generic tech cards like Solemn Jordan or some Solemn Jordan. <laughs> so, who the f is that? Solemn Judgment. Who's Jordan? Michael? Is it Michael? Solemn Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. So how do you deal with a big bungus? Unless you've been living under a rock, the first thing that you should look at when you see a monster on your opponent's side of the field that's unaffected by literally everything. Literally. And it's just begging you to remove it. You, everyone at home, what do you do? You kaiju it. It's just, it's just asking for it. Just Gamma Sill, solve all your problems. Now it's gonna put all the material into the graveyard, which uh, means they're just gonna make this thing again, which so it doesn't permanently solve your problems, but it at least does get it off the board for now. If you could remove its materials from the graveyard, you're gonna do a lot to prevent this from happening again, unless you can just OTK them now, like crash through your own kaiju. As said above, DD Crow does very well against this deck, as well as the Shizu Shufflers. That's what my script called it. That's thanks, Garen. <laughs> Shizu Shufflers. Sounds like a, a vaudeville band that Ishizu's the main singer in. And after they stopped keeping tombs, they all must have just really went their separate ways. <laughs> but you can also use things like Ash Blossom, that's always a good one. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit actually performs very well here. Another cute one to consider is Book of Moon. Book of Moon is cute because if you otherwise, during the middle of their combo, destroy one of their rank twos, the, the smaller XC monsters, they're just gonna go to grave. Now they got all that crap still in the graveyard, which they do have a means to stack under a new monster, so it doesn't necessarily solve your problem. However, Book of Mooning it puts their rank two monster face down, and now they can't slap Noir over it, and it's just kind of stuck there on the field with all of its materials, now kind of just no longer in the game which could buy you a turn in order to put game on board and crash through their, what are normal, kind of relatively weak monsters in defense mode. They're better in defense mode, but they're still not super powerful. Another thing you can try is any spell speed to monster negation. So instead of getting rid of the materials the rank twos are trying to suck up, just stop them from doing it so that when Noir gets placed on the field, it doesn't have the material needed to be a big bungus. So in review, Hand traps work very well against this deck. Make sure you try to use them at strategic locations to prevent them from either searching, summoning, or adding things from the graveyard and or field to the material list of one of their XE monsters. You know that you can do this by either removing material from the equation or negating the effect of the monster trying to do it. But if they do get to their big bungus, you can always throw a kaiju at it and solve all your problems with a big turtle. Not exactly the most complicated deck to understand how to deal with, but if you don't know what any of these cards do, you might just be sitting there and waiting and wondering what the hell they're doing until it is too late and now you cannot deal with the monster that they have placed on board. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and remember guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I'll see you guys next time.